This reuse allows, as SpaceX has stated, millions per recovery in cost savings. And as of the start of 2024, they've reflown fairings more than 300 times. This is what it looks like when they're bringing one of those payload fairings on board a recovery vessel. At the time, the fairing being hoisted in this picture was being recovered for the 13th time. We're now at T-minus 9 minutes, 23 seconds and counting. You can see that venting from the second stage now is super cold. Liquid oxygen has been flowing on board there now for several minutes. T minus eight minutes. Keep an eye on the weather this evening, as we always do for every launch. Taking a closer look at the Falcon 9 vehicle, you see the vapor trailing off almost perpendicularly to the vehicle. Do have word that a strong wind warning has been issued, calling for winds of 25 knots gusting to 35 knots for both NASA's Kennedy Space Center and Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Liftoff winds were a watch item coming into tonight's launch, as previously mentioned from the 45th Weather Squadron. There's a 75% odds of favorable weather for liftoff, but the liftoff winds were the lone watch item. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that as we get closer to the planned liftoff. For now, let's talk about the booster history with this vehicle because it has quite an extensive one going for its 18th flight tonight. Now less than seven minutes, the chill down of the nine Merlin engines is underway on the Falcon 9 vehicle. So while we still have time, let's go through the history of this Falcon 9 first stage booster. Tail number 1062. The dates associated with this launch history are based off of the launch times in Universal Coordinated Time, or UTC. So just as a bit of housekeeping before we step through. Starting off November 5th of 2020, this first launch saw the send-up of the GPS-3 space vehicle, or SV number 4. Built by Lockheed Martin, this was the fourth of the newer version of the U.S. Space Force's GPS constellation, each named after a famous explorer. This particular satellite had the nickname of Sacagawea, named after the Shoshone woman who guided Lewis and Clark on their expeditions in the 1800s. Now the GPS satellite number five was on deck back on June 17th, 2021. That GPS satellite named for the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong. The third flight was on September 15th, 2021. Of course, this was the inspiration Coming on January 6th, 2022. This was the first Starlink launch for this booster. 4-5, 49 version 1.5 satellites on board.
fifth launch came on April 8th, 2022. This was the second crewed mission for this booster when it launched the Crew Dragon Endeavor and the Axiom 1 private astronauts to the International Space Station. As a point of note, where we are on the count, we're T minus 4 minutes 30 seconds and counting. At this point, the strong back retract sequence should be getting underway if all remains on target for a launch tonight. However, just want to note that the SpaceX feed has not begun yet, which could be an indication that the liftoff winds may be too much for this launch tonight. We're going to go ahead and pause our recounting of the booster history and punch in a little closer on the Falcon 9 rocket. Again, at this point in the count, SpaceX should have brought up its views of the rocket with mission audio. But we do see, looks like the strong back retract sequence is underway here. We may, in fact, still be on track for the launch tonight. Just making some adjustments here to be able to see as clearly as possible. Now coming up on two minutes nominally before the planned liftoff. We're now under two minutes to the planned liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket for the Starlink 6-38 mission. We're seeing the venting we would normally see around the time we hear the call for ground gas closeouts. We're coming up on the point in which the Falcon 9 would be fully fueled with 1 million pounds of propellant. SpaceX appears to have brought the video back, so we are now under 40 seconds playing liftoff. And we did hear that call out that we are go for launch, so things are in fact on track. Less than 30 seconds to the plant liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket. 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Here we go. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Ignition, ignition and liftoff. And, and liftoff. SpaceX go liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket Falcon 9 supporting the Starlink 6-38 mission. The vehicle has cleared the tower. Mission. Vehicle pitching range proportionally is not known. 
the first of what is poised to be a SpaceX doubleheader. Now oh, well on its three. way. We're now 30 seconds into flight. Let's listen to the roar of those nine Merlin engines. I want to make three. There's no Max Q. Falcon 9 supersonic traveling faster than the speed of sound. Supersonic. Getting some great tracking views. This view from our cameras here at the press site. This from Pete Carson's with Max Q Productions as the vehicle is passing through Max Q. The point is the greatest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Coming up on MVAC chill down. They thermally conditioned the Merlin. You hear that call off? They're thermally conditioning the MVAC engine ahead of its implanted ignition. The clouds have cleared away. We're getting some great clear tracking views from our team here. You just saw Pete. This is Chuck. Pete again. Now for two minutes into flight, we're approaching main engine cutoff or MECO. The nine Merlin engines will shut down, followed by stage separation and the ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine. The jettison of the payloads coming up shortly thereafter. And you see MECO there. MECO. Stage separation. Stage one separation confirmed. An ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine. You can see a little bit of a glint of that first stage booster as it fell away. Before the engine ignites, you can see it in Space Coast. The delayed SpaceX views. The bottom right hand corner of your screen. Coming up on fairing separation in just a few seconds. Fairing separation. You see those payload fairings falling away in Pete's live views. We'll see the same thing in the SpaceX feed momentarily. Fairing separation component. And there you see those Starlink satellites now exposed to the back in your space for the first time. Well, not quite the sunset launch we were hoping to see tonight. We're still getting some pretty brilliant color. But the Merlin vacuum engine continues to power the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. That first stage, tail number B-1062, starting to make its way back down toward the drone ship of shortfall Gravitas. Now T plus four minutes, seven seconds and counting into the flight. Coming up next will be the first stage entry burn, which will last 23 seconds, starting at T plus six minutes and 10 seconds, a little under two minutes from now. The launch of the SpaceX. Starlink 6 slash 38 mission. Now coming up on five minutes into flight. Both vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. Good call out from SpaceX as the 
flight continues to move along nominally, a little over five minutes into this mission. We're now less than a minute away from the first stage entry burn beginning. Stage one entry burn. away from Pete for just a moment as he's getting in position to hopefully be able to get a glimpse of that entry burn. We'll come back to him in just a few seconds. Both stations are on a nominal trajectory. Oh. That entry burn coming up in about four seconds. Both vehicle are nominal. And there you see that entry burn beginning. Our friend Pete Carson joined him again. Stage 1 FTS saved. Second burn now, seeing that begin on the SpaceX feed as well. Stage one landing balloon. Stage one entry burn startup. Wrapped up. The next milestones are going to be far enough away. Stage one FTS saved. Rise that unfortunately we won't be able to see them with our ground cam. So we'll be relying on SpaceX's onboard views at this point. We're now seven minutes into this flight. Coming up, our next milestone will be the landing burn. Both vehicles are falling. Coast roller place. Falcon 9 first stage booster. Coming back down. Although Pete uh, looks like he's oh, just fallen out of frame, but did have the Merlin vacuum engine continuing on its burn. And he's got it back now. Well done, Pete. A little over seven and a half minutes into flight. Coming up on that landing burn, which will begin at 8.05 minutes into flight. Stage one landing burn into burn. Bit of housekeeping our countdown clock or our, our mission clock is in real time. SpaceX running about 10 or so seconds behind, which is why you're seeing these events happen first on our views and then on the SpaceX feed. Stage one landing burn, stage two terminal guy. Stage one landing burn deploy. We'll see the drone ship should be appearing on the right hand side. Stage one landing burn confirm. Stage one touchdown. Confirm. And touchdown. Stage one landing burn confirm. Booster 1062 now joining the 18 launch and landing. Both vehicle are P3 nominal. Here we go. Coming up closer and closer to and the back shot down. And branch shut down. Set previously by the nominal in orbit. Nominal in orbit trajectory. No. And hearing those call outs from SpaceX, the Falcon 9 second stage has entered into its parking orbit. And we'll continue on in this coast phase until T plus 54 minutes, 4 seconds, when it will have a 2-second burn setting up for Starlink satellite deployment.